Hi, my name is Kirk Hamilton, your host of the Staying Healthy Today Show. This is a show where we bring you key experts in the fields of nutrition, prevention, integrative and lifestyle medicine, we review the medical literature, and we review case studies. Today's show topic is sepsis, cancer, acute illness, and intravenous vitamin C. I just got finished uh, interviewing a Dr. Jeannie Drisco. I've interviewed her before on IV vitamin C and cancer. Uh, she's the director of the Integrative Medicine Department at the University of Kansas Medical Center in Kansas City. And the reason I interviewed her again was they are having probably the first of its kind a conference on the use of intravenous vitamin C on integrative therapies focused on cancer and sepsis. So cancer is cancer. We've talked about that before, the use of vitamin C. But some researchers, especially from uh, Virginia Commonwealth University, uh, Dr. Fowler, and colleagues have shown that intravenous vitamin C in the ICU in critically, critical care patients has been shown to reduce the incidence of sepsis and reduce the severity of sepsis. So I want to go over this conference because, one, I want people to go, health professionals and, and, and the lay public should know about it because they should know that there is science behind intravenous vitamin C for a variety of conditions, and these two are highlighted here. So I want to go over some of the speakers uh, in this two days conference. It's going to be September 30th and October 1 in 2016 in Kansas City. And Kay Chen uh, is a researcher who used to work at the National Institute of Health, National Institutes of Health for Mark Levin. Um, and she uh, has really pioneered uh, how vitamin C works and she'll talk about how it works. We know it works by in part creating hydrogen peroxide in the space in between cells and zaps cancer cells so to speak but there may be other pathways so she's going to get into the biology of that. Next is a, a Dr. Lewis Cantley. Uh, he's a professor of cancer biology from the Weill Cornell Medical College in New York City and he's going to talk about uh, how vitamin C can kill certain types of cells that relate to colon cancer. And again, most of this conference is about intravenous vitamin C, not oral vitamin C, but in the role of intravenous vitamin C. Then there's a Dr. Daniel Monti, who's part of the Integrative Medicine Department at Thomas Jefferson Medical College in Philadelphia. And he's done some work with a variety of cancers, IV vitamin C, IV vitamin C in, in non-Hodgkin's lymphoma, in pancreatic cancer. And so he's going to talk about using intravenous vitamin C along with chemotherapy uh, in metastatic uh, pancreatic cancer, or he's done research on that. Then they'll have a panel discussion where all those people will get up there and Dr. Drisco will mod moderate it. And then their keynote speaker, Dr. Mark Levin, is... According to Dr. Drisco, is probably he's been at NIH and he's had an interest in, in seeing how intravenous vitamin C works, higher doses of vitamin C works versus oral. And he is really kind of the scientific glue keeping these, uh, all these researchers uh, kind of together on a path uh, to discover the biology of how uh, vitamin C given intravenously uh, at, at certain therapeutic doses can have profound effects against cancer. And then Dr. Driscoll will speak, and the good thing about that for the clinician is it's the how-tos. How do you administer IV vitamin C? How much do you give? Uh, over what time frame? So the real nuts and bolts. So if there's a physician that wants to go or a health professional wants to go to learn how to actually administer vitamin C and not just theory, um, you'll get practical application of that from Dr. Driscoll. And then one of the, the, the physicians that really excites me is a Dr. Alpha Fowler. He's a pulmonologist. He's the head of the pulmonary division for the last 20 years at the Virginia Medical College, the Virginia Commonwealth uh, College in Richmond, Virginia. And he is the one that has done a study of sepsis uh, using intravenous vitamin C and sepsis, and that's in critical care patients in the ICU and showing benefit. And at not really huge dose, at gram doses intravenously, thousand, a couple, few thousand milligrams intravenously. Now this is profound. I've always felt, I've been doing this 33 years, that the role of nutrients is more powerful for acute illness and it will be more powerful with intravenous infusions versus oral. And he is one of the first people to do a study on a very critical problem, life-threatening problem. Sepsis occurs from your body's response to an infection. It can be any kind of an infection. And it's this massive inflammatory response and what it does is it ends up reducing blood flow to many of your organs and you have organ failure and you die. 
So if there is a way to do that with a very low risk drug, very cost effective drug, then that's profound. And I think that his work, I've interviewed him before uh, in print and it's powerful, the work that they have done there. And so as he's going to speak and his colleague, uh, Dr. Nat Nataragan, is going to talk on how really vitamin C works in sepsis, the biochemistry of it intravenously. And then two physicians from the University of Iowa, uh, or a PhD and a physician, Dr. Joseph Cullen, who's an MD, um, will talk about the use of intravenous vitamin C in pancreatic cancer. And then Dr. Gary Butner uh, will talk about maybe the role of vitamin C in, in with, along with radiation. So many people, especially oncologists, think that you can't use vitamin C with chemotherapy. That's not true. They've actually showed some synergy with it. There's been some debate about if you give vitamin C with radiation, does it make the radiation too intense? And there may be a, a way to get around that. So that'll be very fascinating. Then a Dr. John Hoffer, who's the son of Dr. Abraham Hoffer, a pioneer in, in using nutritional medicine, who's an internist uh, in Montreal, Quebec, at a hospital there. And he will talk about how to assess vitamin C um, in patients in the hospitals because he believes there's significant amounts of vitamin C deficiency. And intravenous vitamin C could be a great value in hospitals. Cheap and very effective. So I have a list when you look at this podcast, you will see below it um, the, all the references for all these physicians, all the research they've done. I would encourage you that if you're a professional, you know, if you can go to this conference, go to it. It'll be one of its kind. It's the first of its kind, actually. And if you're a patient, just be aware that the use of intravenous vitamin C can be very powerful. And, you know, you can discuss it with your physician and you can actually refer people to these references. So. My name is Kirk Hamilton. This is the Staying Healthy Today show. Uh, this, I'm very excited about this conference, and I'll be going. Uh, know that there's some real science behind intravenous vitamin C treating cancer, sepsis, and I believe other conditions. So I'll talk to you soon. Remember, the links are below. Sign up for my health letter and go to stayinghealthytoday.com. And until next time, stay and be well.